For at TV, the world is thinking. And I'm saying, why don't you like become an engineer and figure out how to deflect the thing? Okay, actually there are two camps out there. There's the, let's blow the sucker out of the sky. There's those folks, Right. we met them, we know who they are. We got the nukes, let's open the silo, take it out. Now it turns out, we, are, we particularly Americans, are very good at blowing stuff up. We're less good at understanding where the pieces go after it blows up, okay? That's just the nature. That's just how that works. So, if you wanna blow up the asteroid, and you, let's say you hit it with the nuke and then it splits into two. Now you have to evacuate two places on Earth <laughs> instead of just one. You know, you gotta like, if you blow it, it has to go to smithereens so that they all burn up in the atmosphere, but you have no guarantee of that. Because we don't but, guarantee what stuff looks like after it blows up. So, but, but, if it burns up in huh? the but if it burns up in the atmosphere, that's also a problem. Uh, not something the size of Apophis. We could survive that. That would be a really beautiful uh, meteor shower. Hmm. So yeah. it wouldn't, it would, that's not enough heat added to the atmosphere. It would be. It problem. would be a warm night. Well, it fell. <laughs> it's a little. But it won't, it won't ignite the forests. That's uh, your, oh, what okay, you're worried no. about. That's... Okay. It was a, a slight concern. It'll be yeah. toasty. Yeah, that'll be toasty. Plus, you know, this California, you don't need asteroid impacts to, like, ignite your forest, all right? Every time I turn around, there's some, like, biblical disaster going on out here. No, I'm looking, we turn on the news, fires, and then I'm waiting, when are the locusts coming and the frogs, you know? Did somebody really go, shh, like, we're going to wake the locusts? Are they, are they, like, ready to come out of the ground? Um, plus, I remember seeing a comedian joke about it. I don't take credit for this joke. The comedian noted that all these disasters in California, they all, like, happen in the rich neighborhoods, right? Poor neighbors are never, like, affected by these disasters. So it's some cosmic Or, or it's not message. reported on TV. <laughs> or, or it's not reported on TV. Um, but, so anyway, getting back to the point. So the better the for my money, the more sensible thing to do is to deflect it. And we've got top people working on deflection scenarios right now. And one of them is, if this is, these apples are good for this. Um, yeah, it's positively Newtonian. Yeah. Actually, what I need is, do you really need this, Clark? Well, I want to use the battery for a second. I'll put, the, I'll put it back in. So what? This is just so you can go long, right? No, no, no. <laughs> so here's Apophis coming in, okay? So the deflection scenario is you get a spaceship. It'll be look something like this, right? And you come up to it, and then you just kind of park it next to the, the asteroid. Now, now, when you say park, you're saying in a similar orbit to, to the asteroid. Yeah, park is a, um, used very a loosely here. Term. What, yeah. What's happening, <laughs> yeah, parallel park it as in the... <laughs> so, you, so what happens is both the asteroid and the spaceship, if it weighs a couple of tons, that's all you need, each have mutual gravitational attraction. So they will want to drift towards each other. So you put up little retro rockets that prevent that from happening. So once to go in, you sort of prevent it. Every time you prevent it, you're actually towing the asteroid from its intended path. And that is a gravitational tether, gravitational tractor beam. If you get it early enough, you don't have to move it by much. All you have to do is have it miss the keyhole. That's all you need. You just don't want it to go through the keel. Then if you miss it one direction, it, it overshoots Earth. It goes the other direction, you undershoot Earth. What if you accidentally and, drag it into the keyhole? Uh, that would be bad. <laughs> right, yeah. You don't want that to happen. Accidentally dragging it into the keyhole. Oops. You would be yeah. unpopular. <laughs> so uh, that's, we got people working on that. And it's the right time scale. People alive today will be alive then. And we just need... At least know, until April 13th. Uh, to, <laughs> on, and on the West Coast. Right. Right. Yeah. 